All right, guys, and now we're in for a very special treat. I can't wait to take you along. Mabu High Squad, where we're heading now is going to be super fun, and I know you guys will love it. Guys, now we're going to. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Our outdoor walk through the neighborhood. Yes, obviously these bird walks are always so fun and a lot of you guys seem to like them, even though they're quite repetitive. It's all good, it's always a different adventure. And here comes the sun now, the guys. Pretty soon too, this will be a parrot flash puppy walk. <laughs> but won't be letting the puppy touch the ground at first. It's mostly just to desensitize the dog to like the outside world, traffic, various noises, etc. In case you're new to the channel, our future puppy was born. My cousin's dogs, which are a teacup chihuahua and a mix of Yorkie and Bichon, had puppies. So there are two boys, a light colored one and a dark colored one. Not sure which one we're gonna choose yet, but it should be coming to us in May. That should be really exciting. Friendly guys? You're gonna have to learn to live with a little puppy. It'll be smaller than you, maybe. Just walking through the neighborhood. Again, for those of you who are new, this here is Manila, Philippines. Manila is a massive, massive city. I live in the city of Mandaluyong in Metro Manila in the Philippines. Tropical country. Been living here for about, OMG, will it be nine years? Oh my. It'll be pretty, in December, I'll be here nine years. So I've been here for eight years already. Wow, where has time gone? I still feel like I'm on a working vacation. <laughs> like I, inside my brain, I still feel very Canadian, but I still feel like I'm on a working vacation because like it's so hot and tropical and palm trees and banana trees all over the place. It's awesome. And guava trees. And Ligaya loves this tree. You know what to do, Le guys. There you go. Up, up, up. Go ahead. Not that little branch, the big branch. Good girl. Gotta get out of her way because she usually poos at this point. Right. She looks great up there. She looks forward to these walks. And then I tie this like so. Make sure it's tied tightly. There we go. Actually, no. This goes underneath. Awesome. And there's a street cat right there falling asleep. Such a beautiful cat. The guy is totally aware of this cat. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm keeping an eye on it, the guys. Okay, the cat left. <laughs> There she goes, picking at the sticks and twigs and <laughs> chewing the guava leaves. Very healthy. This here is native guava. It just grows naturally here. She loves picking at it. Sometimes she'll even grab a fruit and pick a guava fruit and eat it. Look at you, trimming that tree. <laughs> here comes the sunlight now, so good for her feathers. Let's see if we can pick a guava fruit here. Ah. I'm gonna get one right here. Awesome. The guys want some guava? There you go. She's gonna peel it. She doesn't eat the peeling. She just eats the inside. Thank goodness it's a fruit day, huh? <laughs> She even chews on the bark, see? She'll like strip the bark off the branch and chew on it. Oh, she's climbing on that top branch. She's never done that before. Oh boy, careful, the guys. It's good exercise for her uh, feet though, because I guess she's like always used to perching on the same surfaces and branches and perches at home. So it's good for her to practice on new branches. It's very good for her. Honestly, the guys, if you strip that whole branch of all the leaves, you won't have any leaves to play with next time. All right, so I found that some of you in the comments have been asking about, you know, what it's like living in the Philippines. Wait, let me cross the street. First of all, you gotta know how to cross the street <laughs> or you could die. Seriously, not even joking. Some of you might be from other countries and you might be watching these vlogs and other vlogs on YouTube going, hey, the Philippines looks like a cool place to live. Um, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about what life is like here, how I started life here, so that you guys can gauge whether the Philippines might be your next life destination. So my parents are both pure Filipinos and they migrated to Canada in the 70s where they eventually became landed immigrants. So both my parents are 
Canadian citizens now, but I was a first generation uh, Filipino along with my brother and all my cousins really. So we grew up the Filipino way, eating Filipino food, you know, Filipino traditions, all of that. My parents never taught us Tagalog, which is like Filipino language. They spoke to it to each other, but for some reason, they spoke to my brother and I in English. So we never grew up speaking Tagalog. It was always the adult language. All the aunts and uncles, my parents, they spoke in this adult language. So growing up, you know, as a Filipino in Canada, when I had the choice to move to the Philippines, which I'll get to in a bit, I figured, yeah, this transition should be easy enough. I'm Filipino. I think I think I can manage the Philippines. It's in my blood. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was so wrong. Moving to the Philippines for me, I think, was pretty much like moving to any foreign country. It was way different than I ever thought it would be. So the way I got here was when I was living in Canada, I started to get into YouTube doing just daily vlogs and one of my daily vlogs was a comedy skit doing the Filipino accent pretty much like speaking English the way my parents spoke. <laughs> the first thing to know is there are no F sounds. Palo, Plip, Pak, Filipino, Philippines, Family, Snowflake. When that went viral, that gave rise to a whole series of like Filipino tutorials they were called. Eventually, companies from the Philippines started contacting me like Filipino news stations and then eventually Filipino TV networks calling me, hey, have you ever thought of coming to the Philippines? You know, you should probably come and enter show business because you know, now that your YouTube videos are hot, you might as well capitalize on that. So I'm like, all right. And I had been trying to get into Philippine show business like for years before. So I felt like this was my perfect opportunity. And then when a big snack company, Chicharon Ni Mang Juan. What's going on, Becky Mon? This is your Pinoy boy, Mikey Bustos again, bringing you another tutorial. Flew me to the Philippines, right? Meaning all sorts of friends here, yes. Flew me to the Philippines and I saw the amount of support I was getting because of my YouTube videos. I had shot some commercials, 19 commercials for TV, by the way. When I saw the amount of support I was getting, I decided to stay. So when I went back to Canada, I paid off all my credit card bills, closed my cell phone bill. I said, mommy, I think this is it. I'm moving to the Philippines. And I did. So when I moved here, I started, can I just say, from the bottom but it's not true bottom but it's like I started pretty humbly I lived in a, a hostel a they call it a boarding house which is the boarding house of my cousins aunt so I guess she became my aunt too but she wasn't my blood aunt but my cousins aunt anyways I was staying there I uh, had my own room which was great because usually in boarding houses you share the room with like five or ten other people um, but I really started from the bottom no air conditioning I had to shower and like cold water to flush the toilet we had to dump like a bucket down this toilet like I'm trying to paint a picture here sometimes I would wake up and there would be like a big roach on my face and I'd have to like <laughs> you know what I mean like random stuff like that I would find mice droppings like on my stuff so that kind of was like <laughs> the warm Philippines welcome, <laughs> which was very different. But me, I like roughing it a little bit. I'm okay to rough it because I was like, yes, it's the Philippines. I'm in a tropical country. I'm like living my dream in show business. So I had signed to a TV network at that point and was doing regular TV shows and different appearances, mall shows, all of that. The whole Filipino celebrity show business thing, right? And then afterwards, I would go home in my boarding house and just like chill. So one thing that you guys wanting to come to the Philippines need to know is that life is very different here than say in North America or Europe or Australia. If you come from a first world country and you've never been to a third world country and I'm not talking about like Mexico where you're on a resort, no. Like I'm talking about a local, local life in a third world country or developing country, very different. There is a lot of poor here in the Philippines. You have to have a lot of patience because a lot of times there isn't so much order. For example, little things like returning products from a store. OMG, the last time I was at Best Buy, I returned a webcam, it was so easy. I could have held my breath from the moment I walked into the store to the moment I finally got approved for my like my refund, my full refund. You try to return products here, OMG. Internet in a lot of places are super slow, although it's changing. But my place, 
I get an average of one Mbps, sometimes less. So you need to have patience. And then when I first moved here too, public transit was such a frustration. So the subway lines are so full. Like I rode the subway once, the train, never again did I ever try. Like it was so packed. I was in line and it's so hot. And then when you're in the train, like super sardines, like you're packed, literally you're touching people. Um, and uh, it's just very difficult. And then back when I first moved here, they didn't have Grab, which is like the Uber or rideshare app. Um, so I had to hail down taxi cabs and not all taxi cabs will decide to drive you. If, you, if it's too far for them, they, they won't drive you. So that was another thing. So I could go on, but <laughs> the Philippines has taught me patient and has taught me to value when things are conveniently provided to me whether they be services or even the simple things in life like air conditioning a microwave like seriously if you're gonna move here you will have a rude awakening as to entitlement and privilege <laughs> One of the things you'll learn moving to the Philippines. Another thing that some people have problems with is the weather. One, because it's super hot here. Like, they say the three seasons in the Philippines are hot, hotter, and hottest. We don't have winter here. There's a period starting March soon where it's considered summer, where temperatures are as high as like 40 something, which in fairness, Toronto can be too, but like for one or two days of the year. This is for a long period and a lot of people don't like the heat some people get rashes some people burn easily you have to be prepared for that now if you're planning on moving here cold like from abroad like let's say an english speaking country expect it to be difficult because learning the filipino language is hard you would think that me growing up like with my parents speaking it in the house that it would be easy for me to just fluently speak it and yes there are people who really take the time to learn the language and they learn it in like eight months filipino trust me is so hard tagalog is hard i can speak it now it takes me a while to find the words i'm at about 80 percent now but filipino language is such a different structure it's a different frame of thinking like linguistically it's very difficult now in terms of jobs so i kind of had an upper hand moving here because it was a safe gamble i suppose because i was already been shown interest to be signed to a tv network so i knew i I already kind of had work moving here. If you're gonna move here cold, the jobs that you most likely will excel in, I think are the English speaking jobs. So call centers. So if you're an English speaker, a call center job might be ideal for you, whether it be being CSR work or maybe management at a call center. Expect to be paid below what you're used to abroad. That's another thing. Although I was working in show business, you would think that celebrities get paid a lot. No sorry, they do not. I think I was making as much as someone who worked at a 7-Eleven and I was doing Hey, and I was doing like the top shows on GMA TV network and that's how much I was earning now mind you cost of living here in the Philippines is much lower but expect to be paid local wage that's something that I think a lot of people don't take into consideration you have to start from the bottom so this is something you need to try to do now I have several friends who are also expats people who have come from abroad and lived here and based on what I've seen over the years not everybody makes it a lot of people come here they try to establish a life here and they have trouble so they end up going back so if this is something you're willing to accept as a risk by all means come move to the Philippines but make sure you have an escape back <laughs> You know what I mean? Like when I first moved here, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give it three years. And there were points between the moment I moved here to the three year mark where I was like, OMG, I'm so low on money. I think I might have to move back to Canada. I think there were points in time where I even borrowed a thousand dollars from my tita in Karna because, you know, I thought like I was gonna go hungry. You know what I mean? So you have to be prepared for that. If you can get past the three year mark, usually I find you'll be okay here. Mm -hmm. Now some great things about living in the Philippines is, well, of course, for one thing, like I said before, it's instilled a completely new perspective on what people are entitled to and the whole privilege thing. I never take anything for granted now. Also living in the tropics, of course, the beautiful weather, it's always hot. I don't have to worry about snow or shoveling the driveway <laughs> or raking leaves. <laughs> I hate that. Filipino people are so warm. They are so fun. Even though Filipino people, a lot of Filipino people might not have a lot, they've made being happy down to an art. 
like everybody's happy for the most part and they make do with what the little that they have you know what i'm saying times when i feel the most canadian is when i feel like ranting you know what i mean like i feel like ranting and like being vocal and complaining but it's very unfilipino to do that like here most people are pious they're kind they're quiet respectful mindful of others i find also love the food here amazing food omg so awesome and if you're smart like my dad you'll come here for a lot of the year and like let your dollar go the longest way because like i said cost of living here is very very cheap if you've got foreign money in your pocket you can definitely stretch that dollar out a lot more than you would say in North America or wherever you're from. My dad is balling on his pension here, seriously. Now even though Manila isn't a beach destination, the Philippines has some of the best beaches in the world, as you've seen on this channel. What do you love about living in the Philippines? Everything is affordable. <laughs> Guys, life in Toronto, for example, is so expensive now. Every time we go back home to Toronto, oh my gosh, it is so expensive. Like, it's almost impractically expensive. To live a pretty good life there, in my opinion, like not in debt or whatever, you gotta be a lawyer or something. You know what I mean? Like, housing's expensive and just it's not the same as when I was growing up. Like taking the TTC, the public transit used to be, I remember like $1.75. Now it's like $3 something. I don't know, it's just inflation is just crazy. I think if I were to move back to Canada, I would consider living in like quieter, smaller town, like Niagara-on-the-Lake, St. Catharines, like that, places like that. I think cost of living might be a little cheaper. We were surprised to see how cheap houses are in Kansas. Right, RJ? Michigan. Michigan too. Certain parts of Michigan are so cheap. Uh, I also forgot to mention other jobs in case you're an English speaker include office jobs, events. Like if you're a very good public speaker, you could host events. Lots of hosting opportunities for English speakers here in Manila in particular. Also, well, when showbiz wasn't so much working out for me because I couldn't learn the language in like a year or two I found out there's a whole world of English speaking jobs on radio you could do radio if you've got a good English speaking voice there's a whole bunch of jobs that you could find here in Manila if you speak English good morning guys yes a brand new day same day edit, same day edit. Good morning, the guys. <laughs> My beautiful bird. Okay guys, can't forget, I know you guys look forward to these. Let's look at Tuesday's positive affirmation. I choose healthy stimulation. During breaks at work, I speak positively with others and listen with compassion. Love that. I choose healthy stimulation. During breaks at work, I speak positively with others and listen with compassion. Alright All right, guys, so today we have a very special gift for Legaya mm -hmm. and um, it's something that she used to love but I'm not sure if she loves it now. Um, it's been I think over a year since she's had this gift. Mabuhay squad. It's time to give Legaya this. Guys, you'll love it! I think. 